but I do have some very interesting shrippums. Research and development. Research and development. I love researching and developing ideas for my cool cards. Sorry, I didn't post a video yesterday. I got sick as a dog this weekend. And I know what you're thinking. Who is this guy? This is not our pirate shrippum overlord, Joku with his long, luscious locks, LLLs. Well, the LLLs are gone, okay? Capiche, I changed it because I wanted to, and it was time. So I got this new haircut, and I then I got a newer haircut. Um, and that's what's going on. But I, I am still me, and a lot of you may know me, but a lot of you also may not know much about me. So I thought today I'd share a little bit more information. Since I look really different, I'll tell you about who I actually, actually am. Um, my name is Jonic Tull. Uh, Jet Jonic is a kind of different name. It rhymes with Sonic and it starts with a J. That's how I explain to people to remember it. My, my legal name's not actually Joku. Joku's a name I, I made up as a joke because it has joke in it. And I like Goku. I used to do a lot of Dragon Ball stuff. Well, my, my originally I did Marvel Contest of Champions videos. If you go way back in my YouTube history, it's me talking like this in Nightmare and opening crystals in an accent. That was Little Joe. And then I got a really bad addiction to that video game, so I quit it. And then I started doing Dragon Ball Super Card Game stuff. And I like Goku, so I made my name Joku. But it worked out well because I was in a dental program, so I put DMD and One Piece characters have a D in their name. And I also really got into One Piece at that time, so I kind of dressed like a One Piece character and opened Dragon Ball videos as Joku DMD. And then One Piece came along. Anyway, that's enough about me. I'm Jonic, Joku, whatever you want to call me. But today is about research and development. So I don't have anything to shrip them official, but I do have some very interesting shrippums. But before we get into the interesting shrippums, I have to talk about this really, really insanely exciting project I have going on at Kaizoku Cards, which is my cards thing, and it's it's this. So, so this is the Serial Luffy, 10 out of 10. It doesn't have a back yet. We haven't figured out what we're doing for the back yet, but AGZ19 and I have been working on a complete manga deck. Yes, so my deck from Nats, we're doing it. We're making a complete manga version of it. Every card in the deck has a manga art. We just haven't done Otama yet, but everything else in the deck is done. It's amazing. I love playing this deck. It's, it's so much fun, and uh, all these manga cards are looking really good. This one is not gonna be in the deck, it's just gonna be three Sanjis, because you don't really need this card. I just played it because I just had the winner. The Sanji is actually kind of more valuable. But the Rush Sanji, yeah. So it's a full manga deck. It's totally manga out. And uh, it's really cool. They're gonna come with this leader. There's, we're only making 10 of these leaders. They're serialized to 10. So there's only gonna be 10 of these available. And actually, you know, I'm gonna have one and he's gonna have one. So really there's only eight of them available. Um, they're going to be offered first to the, the, uh, most valuable customers from Kaizoku cards. So I have people that have supported me the most. I'll be reaching out to them individually to offer them before they go for sale. Um, so maybe a few might be for sale. They might even not be for sale, but all the cards are available at Kaizoku cards. So you could potentially buy all the cards and build the manga deck yourself. The leader will also have another version. We're making a non-serialized version. Well, it'll be serialized on the back, but it won't have the serial number on the front. Anyway, enough about all that exciting manga stuff. It's the Lunar New Year for Chinese New Year. And this is, I gotta zoom this out a little bit so we can see all this exciting stuff going on here. This is, this is Card Bro. Have you guys heard of Card Bro? Cause Card Bro's makes these red pockets that have cards in them, I think. I really don't know. I just, HZ saw and saw these on Instagram and he was like, dude, these manga cards are sick. So I guess there can be manga cards in here. I don't even know if this is really even considered a shrip 'em. 
But I, I actually, I had the rest of the Memorial boosters to shrip them, but they, um, I deleted the videos by accident. They weren't that cool. I don't even think I talked about anything that crazy. Anyway, so the scan, tag us, and win to get a special set. Oh, cool. You can get a special set from Cardbro. Thanks, Cardbro. These are dope. These are really nice. They have a nice tactile feel and... There's this uh, shiny gold printing stuff on here also. I don't know if it's one card in here. I don't know if it's multiple cards. I got 20 of them because research and development, you know? Okay, so this is this is volume one. Is it a manga card? Whoa, yeah, look at that. That's manga Luffy. This is really nice. <laughs> this, is, um, this is like pretty much the same as like Bandai cards actually. In terms of like like a manga rare, like they they nailed this. This is sick. Wow. First pack out. Manga Luffy. Very cool. Um let's uh do we have do are there any one piece cards nearby? Yeah let's take a let's grab a one piece card and look at it. Yeah. Yeah that's that's pretty it's pretty damn close. Maybe a, they're really close. Maybe a tiny bit thicker, but really good. The roundness of the corners is uh, close. It maybe, yeah, they're good. These are good. These are great proxies. This is fantastic. Really great job, card bro. And the cool back also. So sick, very nice. All right, that's the first one. That's the that's the promo Luffy, and I think I think they're in Japanese. I don't think they're uh, definitely not English. All right, what's in the second one? Ooh, Robin. This is the Don X One Robin. This is the one where you swing and pop something. A lot of panels. Um, do they all have the I wonder if they all have this panel. No, the wait, are they all the same? They're all the same manga. This is these are identical manga panels. They have like all the straw hats. All right, so that's that's a little bit lazy. Uh, I, I the, the the card quality and the images they selected so far, I'd say very good. In terms of the manga panel selection. That's a, that's a, those are a lot of decisions there. And to just put all the same manga panels for a card, I mean, this looks great, but it's all the same manga panels. But I do love this image. Really good image. All right, I'm gonna start hopper, har, stop harping on it. Right, so, there's more, there's more here. I, I'm, I am, we're gonna look at all of them at the end for the Lunar New Year celebrating card bro. It would be cool if they if they're all different. I mean, they probably have that potential. Is Zoro? I'd be very hyped if these are all all different cards. I don't remember how many there are total. There's 10 straw hats. I don't know if there's 20 total. They said it's like there's some kind of a special specially card. I forget what it says, but on the website, the website I think it's cardbro.shop or something like that. Oh yeah, Frank, Franken, Frankie, radical, radical dude. Um, there, I thought there was some sort of like special, like it was like one out of five was something special. I thought it was just gonna be one out of five as a manga, but these are all the manga cards. I got the Sanji Rush from the starter deck. We got a manga version of that one as well. I gotta say, I do, I do like you know, on the, on the Kaizoku cards, manga cards, how big the characters are. I think that's pretty exciting. These are, I guess you can see more of the manga. Oh, another Luffy. Okay, are we starting from the bottom again? Is that how this is gonna work? I don't know, but I wanna like put this away. This goes back. There's not, these can be resealed easily. And then we just put it back in this, in this nice plastic sleeve because we know, we know there's a Luffy in here. Cause I don't need more than one. I don't need more than one of any of these. 
But for research and development, we got to explore and see what's going on. Oh yeah, anyway, so I did have, I did record two more videos of the Memorial Booster, but I accidentally deleted them. So I'll never be posting those. But I will be posting um, uh, some, some set seven. Set seven is, I just got a shipment notification today. So I might, I might get it as early as Monday. And then hopefully next week we can, oh, Chopper, Chopper Mon, very cute. These cards feel pretty sturdy, that's nice. Um, we should have a, uh, a strip them next week of set seven. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll open a bunch of boxes of that because there's also Dragon Ball Fusion Worlds, which I, I got a case. I think I'm just gonna do a case opening for that. Another Robin, Robin's getting sealed again. Go back in your package, Robin. We already pulled you. I just want to see different the different mangas now. Um, yeah, so uh, Fusion Worlds case opening. I'll probably just do a live stream for that because I don't know. I don't know if I I really have the energy to get fully into. Ooh, wait, this one looks different. I see. It has a border. It has this shiny, valuable looking border. Yeah, see, these don't have those, but this Nami has the treasure cup border. That must be what's special about it. Anything different on the back? Nope, same on the back. Just a fancy, fancy border. Nice. Nice one on Nami. I wonder if we'll get any more of those. But, yeah. You know, the way that I differentiate our cards at Kaizoku Cards, nope, another Luffy. Luffy seems to be like an easy hit on these card bro. Scan us, tag us. Um, at Kaizoku cards, I like to differentiate the cards by different fo foil variations. So you can really see, you know, big difference in that. Um, I don't really do borders on my cards. I like full art borderless stuff. Another Zoro, we already got him. Zoro, you're going back in the sleeve, buddy. These will be good gifts to give to like friends and stuff. Cool. All right, what else do we got here? Tag us and win a special prize. We'll definitely, well, we'll definitely tag you. Another Frank, Franken. What's going on, Franken? Thanks for coming by. Man, I'm hungry, I didn't eat lunch yet. We already got Frankie though. I wonder, is there, is that it though? Is there a Jimbe or probably not? Maybe a Brook? We haven't seen Brook. Be cool if there's a Brook. Brook? Nope, another Luffy. Our eighth Luffy. Uh, what, what else? What else could possibly be in here? I, I don't know. I, I think there's some pictures on their Instagram of what all the cards are in here. Um, but there should be more. Oh, Usopp. I don't think we got Usopp yet, right? No, no Usopp yet. The outfits, the selections for the images are really great here. I gotta give them that. There's supposed to be one in, one in every five was supposed to be some kind of sp special thing. So, so far, it's definitely not that. Because we're almost done opening these and there were, got 20 of them. And there's only like five left. Another Zoro. Zoro's pretty popular. <laughs> pretty popular guy. But no more fancy borders? Only the one? Only one out of 20? That seems like a not accurate uh, dispersion based on the drop rates that they advertised. They are, you know, I wonder, I don't know. They may randomize them. That could be. That would be reasonable. But these are very easily resealable, you know? I think that's one of the tr tricky parts about seal selling a sealed thing is if you can just close it, repackage it, and then say, hey, it's sealed again, then somebody knows what's inside of it. It kind of kind of takes away the potential true randomness or whatever, I don't know. So yeah, only one so far, one out of 20. 
and another Luffy. Kind of. All right, so we got one more. Let's see. Will we get? Will we get? Will two out of twenty be the special border, super border manga borders card, bros? What do we say? Is it? It's an Usopp, and it's not. All right. Well, that was fun. That was cool to see those. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be, look, I, I say to floss a lot, and uh, some people have listened to me. Some people maybe have not. And if you're having a hard time getting yourself to floss, um, consider getting a shower flosser. It's a water pick that you attach into your shower, and then you can just shoot water between your teeth when you're in the shower. You may not be able to get yourself to floss consistently, but at least that's something. So look up shower flosser on like Amazon there, maybe like 30, Thirty dollars. They're pretty cheap, um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, before before I go, I also just thought I'd do a quick, you know, scan through of some cards coming up at Kaizoku Cards. So here's a bunch of Kaizoku cards that uh, I've been designing. They're available on KaizokuCards.com. Check them out. I put a lot of work into these with a bunch of artists. We all work together and make cool stuff. So I have a lot of fun with it. I hope you enjoy it um, and thanks for coming by and checking out the Shrikum, Shrip, 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 there's going to be a lot more soon and set six is coming out soon so look forward to that okay peace <laughs>